Yanni with Marine Connection here and today we're on board Cobia's new 240 center console. Now the 240 center console debuted earlier this year at the Miami Boat Show and replaced the ever popular 237 center console. Uh, plenty of space on this boat, great riding hull, uh, a lot of well thought out design features. Let's uh, go out on the water, show you how she runs and then uh, jump on board and uh, do a little quick overview on this and show you what makes it so popular. We've had a blast this afternoon with the 240 and Cobia's 301 out on the water. Both are phenomenal riding boats and just an absolute blast out there. So a little overview starting out at the bow. Now the 240 is a wide bow. You could almost fit another boat in here. Um, you'll notice that the seating section is almost a D shape rather than a V as you'll find on most center consoles. Uh, you do have the cushions underneath them you do have non-skid and then large storage compartments. The bow center insert is removable and that leads up to our windlass up here. We do have a through hull design. Bow cleats, uh, JL Audio on this 2019 Cobia, nice wraparound combing bolster and then we do have these swivel backrests that double as combing bolsters when you are casting up off the bow of the boat. There is a very large in-floor storage compartment and then we do have an additional seat here in front of the console. So plenty of room up here. You could at least fit seven adults uh, just in this seating configuration. It is very spacious. Underneath the seat here, we do have an insulated cooler. And then new for the 240 is the forward entry into the head. So you have two steps down. You have a very spacious, easy to get to head. Uh, Cobia looked at how successful their bigger boats have been and brought that design down. Um, you have a sink in there, a marine toilet, and it just works very well. It's easy to get into and it's very comfortable, uh, not something you're cramming your body forcefully into. The console itself has been redesigned on the 240 as well. Uh, instead of having tubes that run down to the floor, now we have a console and we have these extruded aluminum profiles with an integrated uh, wraparound windshield on this particular 240. Uh, electric vent also, and uh, this, this setup is very nice, meaning you don't have anything to stub your toe on anymore, and you also have wider walkthroughs uh, leading to the cockpit of the boat. Just a very well thought out design, and I believe Cobia has a patent pending on this particular setup. Just uh, very elegant. Hard top, this is a massive hard top. Uh, you'll notice it's finished off in the hull, uh, hull side color on the bottom of the hard top. LED spreader lights, JL audio speakers, and then forward and rear storage compartments on there. So on paper, the Cobia 240 is 23 feet, seven inches in length and has a 9.3 beam. But you'll notice this boat feels much bigger than that. Uh, it's just simply how well laid out everything is on here. So console, we have plenty of room for electronics uh, and we've been doing some very elegant setups using that space uh, for customer sold boats. Yamaha digital controls for the twin 150s, tilt helm, windlass, trim tabs, and JL audio head unit. We do have a analog compass, and again, those two storage boxes provide plenty of space for gear. Uh, I personally store flotation devices in there. A uh, nice double wide helm seat with flip down bolsters, and you do have a flip down footrest as well. One thing that's uh, always great to have is easy access to the batteries, and they are kept high and dry here in the console through a compartment you access on the front of the console. This particular boat is equipped with a battery charger and you do have the receptacle here on the port side. Very nice use of space for the tackle tray organizers. And you do have two drawers as well that come in very handy. 
Now on the Cobia 2, uh, on the Cobia 240, just like we had on 37, we have a fold down rear bench seat that stows away. And then the entire compartment opens up, providing access down into your bilge for your fuel filters, anything you need to maintain. We do have a 28 gallon live well off to the side, right next to the transom walkthrough door, where we'll find a boarding ladder that folds down along with a freshwater shower. We do have fresh and raw water access in the gunnel corners, two large in-floor fish boxes, uh, rod storage in the gunnels as well, combing bolsters. And overall, I think Cobia has done a tremendous job at polishing the details on the 237 to create the 240. They've looked to their bigger and uh, other successful models and have uh, brought in some very elegant details that just uh, make this a very, very popular model. Again, 150s on this particular one, the 150s and the 300 have been our most popular setups. Uh, both run just shy of 50, 49 or so uh, with those 300 horsepower combinations. Uh, great fuel efficiency out of the boat, which you'll see on the Yamaha Performance Bulletin, and I think that covers it. Uh, to view our full Cobia inventory, visit marineconnection.com. Snag your 240 before they're gone. Uh, again, very, very popular boat. I'm Yanni with Marine Connection. Remember, life's better on your boat. Happy boating.